LGBT lessons in school. Sex education in school is always a political football, and now it's back in play as the issue of educating children about the existence of same-sex couples and relationships has hit the news. You have to take a stand on whether or not to support LGBT topics in school lessons. A lot of students, parents, are same-sex. I don't know how this is going to affect me, but this is just... I'm sorry, if you're not happy about that, I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god. I've got a year. Campaign speeches. Cool! Alright, speeches can be made in the turns leading up to the election. Uh, we're in an election year now. The positive news is that such speeches can gather support from voter groups without you actually having to make any real proposals or promises. The bad news is that such that each soundbite you pick will probably upset some voters as well as making some happy. So choose your soundbites wisely. Okay. First of all, we must face the truth, and then we can change our course. We simply must have faith in each other. It is the task of statesmanship to mold, to balance, and to integrate these and other forces new and I don't really like either of those. Of course, our vision and our aims go far beyond the complex arguments of economics. So today I don't want to talk about the present, I want to talk about the future. I like that. The agenda I have set before you tonight is worthy of a great nation. We are a nation of peace. I can choose up to four of these. Let every nation know whether it wishes us well or ill that we shall pay any price. Bear. Is there anything right down the middle? We meet at a time of extraordinary hope. Never before in this country have our values of freedoms. A society that works for everyone so we can bring people back together, rich and poor. That's not going to make... I know who that's going to make upset. Oh, I've already read that. I want us to be a young country again with a common perch. A young country again. What about the elderly? How would they feel? On this day, we come to proclaim an end to the petty grievances and false promises. There's so much good, so much possibility, so much excitement in this country now. I like that one. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. Kind of like that one too. I can use up to four. Some of this language I'm a little bit
So that's capital, give this speech, and that's capital. Does it change? What if I only do one? Am I going to do more speeches? They like my speech. Wow, look at that. Dude. Okay. I think we're going to win this election. Unless I screw it, <laughs> Unless I screw it up. Okay. I have three turns. already given a speech all right What can we do for ethnic minorities or not? What is, what did I? It's a great time to bump that up. already done that I'm going to do that for right now there's more that we can do. Eight. That drops me to eight. So I probably only have We do have a war going on next door. I'm going to give another speech, I think. <laughs> Nuclear test ban. The United Nations is pushing for your country to sign a treaty that would ban us from carrying out any nuclear weapons tests for research purposes. Many other nations have already signed the treaty and are pressuring us to sign through diplomatic channels. Sign the treaty. We have no real need to carry out further tests. It's not like the current generation of weapons do not work or are not powerful enough. Signing the treaty will keep environmental campaigners happy and will raise our popularity on the international stage. Do not sign the treaty. It's vital that we retain the right to carry out limited testing. We live in a dangerous world and our nuclear deterrent is vital to our defense. 
It's not for our it's not for other nations to tell us how to defend ourselves. Besides, testing is required to ensure our weapons still remain usable. Ay ay ay. Either way, I have got Whew. Okay. She's at 33%. She has not dropped much. And she's going to help me from a campaign standpoint. Are these new speeches? These look like the same speeches. Huh. I didn't realize I could curse her over. Do I have to give a speech? Wow, look at that. What can we do? That is the only group where I have a, a down arrow. guys want me to they want me to lower that no sorry we're not lowering that body cameras so they want let's see here I think I want body cameras on the police.
All right. What can we work on? Respiratory diseases. It's got to be more than just tobacco use. Respiratory. Do cars. Is there anything about cars giving off fumes? Petrol. Car tax. CO2 emissions. Pollution. Next turn. This is exciting. Ay, yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with national anthems in schools. When I was a kid, I did the national anthem in, in school. All schools. 10 to 18, 4 to 18, 10 to 18. Okay, I. So does this mean in college? I don't mind up until high school. I don't know about the national anthem in college. I don't have much capital what can I do I don't feel like I really dealt with respiratory the way I really should have our health wait I mean health is maybe I maybe I'm being hard on myself GDP I've already done that. Manifesto promises are optional, but if you need a last-minute pre-election boost, making grandiose claims to the electorate might be a good idea. Be warned that if you do get re-elected, you will be punished by the voters if you break these promises. Whew. Cut income tax by 25%. Raise GDP 50%. Absolutely not. Cut military spending by 50%. I'll take my chances. 
These are some huge pledges. Huge pledges. Let's do see. Let's do something else. Oh, did we lose it? Did something disappear here? How about a policy? What policies can we work on? I don't have the capital for those. Plastic bag tax. Tax them. I do like that idea. That helps health. It's free. I like that. Doesn't cost much. It's going to take a while for, to implement that, but I like that. I don't have any more capital. Oh, cool. Okay, great way to end this episode. Let's let's have our election. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm at I'm with my constituents. <laughs> We're Oh, yeah. Nice. Excellent. Oh, cool. Save screenshot. turnout crime went down lifespan went up that went up health went up violent crime gender equality immigration What you can click on. Wow. Well, I'm not going to click on every single. like I can't close out on this screen I would love to start the episode by clicking beginning a new term but let's begin the new term and wrap up you can take the opportunity of this election win to reshuffle your cabinet 
without losing political capital. So maybe that's the first thing we will look at because I do have Looks like her loyalty went up. I could have sworn her loyalty was down around 30 something percent. Oh, you know what? It goes up and down based upon policies. All right, we'll we'll tackle this. Oh, brother. Cabinet member wants to talk to me. We'll talk to talk to me tomorrow. Let's wrap up. Excellent. Well, now in America, I can only serve two terms. So. Right? I can't continue on after that. If we're being real, if we're being realistic. And interesting, so I start the term where we left off. Well, that makes sense. So, will new problems show up? Because I've got two major problems here. Interesting. Hey, well, now I'm not going to forget the fact that I set this at 50% difficulty so I know this is going to get more complicated the next go around but this was tons of fun this was a blast there's lots of replayability with this because it's other countries I wonder what other countries are, are dealing with and the, I can change the difficulty level here on this in what when I played the United States so wonderful thank you for spending time I we've completed our first presidential term and moving on to the next one this was so much fun all right well we will see you for the next um, for the next term take care bye bye